Rezultatul alegerilor intermediare din Statele Unite nu este încă unul definitiv. Partidul Republican se apropie de adjudecarea Camerei Reprezentanților, însă lupta pentru Senat rămâne extrem de echilibrată. Știm însă cine este considerat marele pierzător din alegeri, Donald Trump. Fostul președinte al Statelor Unite a anunțat în mai multe rânduri că urmează să anunțe oficial că va candida din nou în 2024 și că alegerile intermediare vor confirma că reprezintă cea mai bună opțiune pentru Partidul Republican. Însă lucrurile nu mai stau așa. Guvernatorul din Florida dar Ron DeSantis poate fi o opțiune și nu este singurul. Cert este că situația s-a schimbat semnificativ în doar 72 de ore. We're going to take back America and in 2024 most importantly, we are going to take back our magnificent White House. Many of Donald Trump's candidates lost and a lot of people in the Republican Party are probably going to say Maybe he shouldn't be the head of our party if he's choosing candidates like this. We not only won election, we have rewritten the political map. And I think there's going to be a lot of Republicans who are thinking really carefully about putting together an exploratory committee and seeing whether or not they have what it takes to challenge uh, Donald Trump or to jump into the race against a lot of them if there is going to be an opening there. It'll be fun watching them take on each other. Presa americană este și ea în centrul disputelor și nu ezită să trimită înțepături, așa cum a făcut MSNBC, care a râs de Fox News. So did you hear the news? There was no red wave last night. Well, this is a pretty surprising development to most people, including us here at the desk. Imagine, just imagine being a viewer of Fox News today after weeks of being promised one. Be an analyst for a second. Does it feel like a red wave? It feels like a red wave, Brian. You know, your predictions of a red wave are accurate. Somebody made a surfboard, said the red wave is coming. Red wave rising. That red wave that I'm convinced is coming. The reports I'm seeing show a big red wave coming. Sleepy Joe just guaranteed a red wave in Pennsylvania. We think we're going to have a big red wave in Michigan. Între timp, democrații își strigă fericirea. Vicepreședintele Kamala Harris și președintele Joe Biden le-au mulțumit public suporterilor pentru rezultatul alegerilor, chiar dacă acesta va mai avea multe semne de întrebare încă o perioadă destul de îndelungată. As we gather here, votes are still being counted, but it is clear your work sent a message to the entire world Our democracy is intact. Yeah. And when democracy is intact, this is what it looks like. And here's the thing. Some Democrats won and some Republicans won. That is what happens when more than 100 million Americans participate and vote in free and fair and open elections. We're here for a simple reason. To say thank you from the bottom of my heart, not a joke. We mean this. This is not a political piece. This is to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Most of all, thank you for believing in your country. Thank you. No, I really mean it. Thank you for fighting like the devil to make sure that we had a free and a fair election. You know, Tuesday was a good day for America, a good day for democracy. And it was a strong night for Democrats. Yeah. 